What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Dre the Brew Dance. Here's some more news. Happy Wednesday to you all. Oh, duh, lolly. So, Big Daddy Disney for the last few years has been chasing the modern audiences. Which, in layman's terms, means newer generation of people that think differently than those that came before. And in the. In the years of chasing that, they've lost countless billions of dollars. Why? Well, looks like Samba TV finally has the answer. Why? Looks like Gen Z has no interest in Disney Plus and all the things that Disney has been creating. Um, shout out to Cosmic Book News. Let's check out this article and see what's going down. Following Bob Iger confirming a $4 billion streaming loss, my god it's learned that both disney plus and hulu are the least watched by the gen z crowd among the top streaming services according to samba tv which includes disney as an investor oh that they're investing it oh goodness gracious disney plus is the home of the marvel and star wars shows but gen z isn't tuning in of course which likely in part explains why viewership numbers are so low Hulu is also home to more adult shows and movies such as The Bear, Predator, but Gen Z isn't tuning in to watch that either, apparently. So, um, before we even get into these numbers, let me just make a couple clarity. Gen Z has been raised by Gen X and Gen Y. So, the things that we were into is passing down to our next generation because that's how humans work, believe it or not um so the quality of shows that have decreased their parents which will be our generation gen x gen y are telling these kids not to watch them <laughs> and so therefore they're, they're migrating away from things that their parents or, or at least the people that influence them are not into that's usually just how the human mind works oh my goodness holiness so here's the chart in front of us gen z is just <laughs> slurping up netflix at a scale that i haven't seen before but then again i've never seen these type of numbers before this is the first full streaming generation and hulu and disney plus combined for nine percent of all the streaming and good for yeah, look at hbo max 10 percent. i love hbo max good app and Prime Video 9%. And why is that? One, Netflix has always been king and always will be king. But Disney and Hulu, they're not producing things that this generation is into. The so-called modern audiences that Disney has been chasing does not exist. Start making content that people really like and people will come. Pushing narratives. The message. And all of that type of craziness alienates everyone, not just from a particular generation, but this is the generation that's supposed to be targeting, and they're not into it whatsoever. And I think that is freaking hysterical. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, everybody. I just dropped my first Pokemon versus video on my new gaming channel. I will leave a link to it in the description section below. Let me check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all those great things on that channel. Now, ultimately, what do I think about this? Look, this is an inevitability. When you're chasing modern audiences that isn't really real and trying to push away all the people that actually made your company great and, and made your company what it is, it's an inevitability that those people's children are not going to watch your stuff. And it's just showing that Disney is so tone deaf that they are literally eating their own hands. Look, Gen Z has their own things, their own issues, and their own problems, and blah, blah, blah. But one thing they do know is that they, one, they love the binge model, hence why Netflix is still ruling the galaxy, and Disney has failed them, and they are not coming back to watch. It's a done deal. <laughs> oh, Disney. Oh, how you have failed yourself. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, what do you guys think about this? Do you think um, this is a generational thing that's going to continue from this point forward with Gen Alpha and, and, all, and all the rest of them that are coming? Let me know in the comments section below. And do all those great YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. As always, you guys have been awesome, and I'll catch you all next time.